Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine on this nice Saturday morning. In today's episode we're gonna have a look on Bitcoin as usual but also we're gonna have a look on Ethereum and Litecoin uh, because if you want to steal along Ethereum or Litecoin I think this is the right opportunity maybe during the weekend to open up a new long position or maybe even to buy some more Litecoin and Ethereum next to Bitcoin of course. But before we start a reminder today we're going to do the winner selection of our $10 worth of Bitcoin giveaway. So if you still didn't subscribe on our weekly uh, Bitcoin giveaway of worth $10, then make sure to make it at the end of this video is popping up the subscription video where you have to put a comment and your Bitcoin address uh, and you will be participating on our $10 worth of Bitcoin giveaway. Today, later on, we're going to select the winner. And the next thing is uh, that uh, we have this event going on on Bybit World Series of Trading. You still have five days left to uh, register to it completely for free. If you don't know how to register down below here in the video description, you find all the three steps that you need to sign up also to my team. If you want to join my team, first you have to register to Bybit. You only need an email, no KYC, nothing. Of course, you can also put some deposit, uh, whatever you want to trade on it to get also some bony over there. And then also you have to sign up to the event. Also the link you find down below here. Because if you sign up already now, you can get up to $60 early bird pony and also some other stuff here. Uh, it's depending when the event is going to start, uh, how much pony you will get. And you can also take advantage of these uh, trading fee discounts and so on. And of course you can also win this uh, swag bag that they're giving to all the uh, people that register already now. And I think now we can start with our Bitcoin TA because we are still in this upwards moving channel here. We are right at the bottom. Yesterday uh, we discussed in our Discord trading chat that uh, it should be a good idea to go long here at the bottom because the 20 and 50 moving average in one hour were squeezing here the price and we had here the initial breakout here to the upside. Some of you took this uh, long opportunity. So congratulations to everyone that made some uh, gains. Uh, and since we entered the weekend and I don't like to keep trades overnight open, I have closed my long position yesterday. Also, I know some people from Discord also did like that because on the weekend we always have play time. So on the weekend often we, we see irrational uh, pumps or dumps that most of the times retrace back to where we closed on Friday. And keep in mind that we closed the CMEs at 9,645. So most of the times we're going to retrace back to this level wherever we're going during the weekend. So in case that we're going to lose here the support here of 9,580 right now, and we're going to crash towards 9,200 to 9,330 towards the 200 moving average in the one hour, then take it maybe as a very good buy and long opportunity because I think if we're going to see something like this, maybe a little dump here towards these levels, this could be the perfect opportunity to long or buy in because uh, in that case I would consider it as a fake dump. So this could be a perfect long or buy opportunity. So watch out in case that we're going to have a major dump or something like this during this weekend. And then on Monday we're most likely going to retrace again towards these levels but this is what we're gonna have to see because we just started the weekend so today and tomorrow we still have a lot of time so take it easy in case that you're looking to open up a new trade like me and of course you can do that over on Bybit with your cryptos you can trade your Bitcoin Ethereum EOS or XRP up to 100x leverage you find the sign up link down below here in the video description if you want to sign up to Bybit because with my link you can get some sign up pony and also support the channel. And if you want to trade with Tether, you can use BitYard, for example, because here you can use the Tether and trade all the coins that you want without even having those coins. And now let's go and have a look on the Bollinger Band in a one hour, because currently we just retrace back down to the middle line, which is bullish. We're seeing a bounce from it. MACD is flat. So also here, I think uh, we could stay in this region here between 9,580 up to 9,620 during the weekend. Uh, in theory, we could go up here towards the target of $9,900 and test it right now. But it doesn't mean that we have to go today or tomorrow there. This can also take a couple of hours or days till we're going to reach the target that we have here. And uh, we have to see also if we are able to break it 
or not. In my opinion, there is a very high chance that we could break this 10k level, uh, but this is what we have to see once we are getting into those levels. We have RSI currently above the 50, which is bullish, stochastic, in neutral condition. In the one hour, everything is still looking very bullish. In the four hour time frame as well, we cooled off the stochastic RSI above the 50. And as you can see here, although the 20 moving average is uh, slightly below here, the main support. So in theory, we could go down here to test it, although during the weekend here at $9,500, maybe even down here towards 9,300 where the 50 and 200 is and there have a big bounce. So watch out in case of a dump to take it as a chance to go long or buy in. And now let's go over to the Bollinger Band in the four hour time frame. Because here, although we're still trading in the upper area, we didn't see a retracement back to the midline yet here at $9,500. So this is where I'm going to plan to buy some more cheap Bitcoins, maybe for the possible breakout of $10,000, which could take us towards 12, 14,000 at least. And MACD had here a bearish cross, which could also indicate that we first going to see here a little retracement back down. So as I told you, take it as a chance to go long or buy some more in maybe not only on bitcoin although some other altcoins are doing very well and currently ethereum is outperforming everything and i think most likely the next coin will be litecoin so keep an eye on those two coins and now let's also have a look here uh, quickly the daily time frame on bitcoin because here we are still trading above the 20 and 50 daily moving average the 20 is currently crossing the 50 which is a very good sign the RSI is above the 50 stochastic is overbought but also here we can stay in this area for quite some time and even if we see a little retracement back down towards 9350 where the 20 and 50 moving average are lining up this should be still very bullish and we should see a big bounce from it and now let's have a look also on the daily time frame because here we are still currently fighting the Bollinger Band here at the top. We were in uh, the upper area here for the last couple of days. So a retracement back down to test the midline of around 9,300 is still in the cart. So don't panic in case that we're going to retrace back down. This uh, would be still bullish because then we would have the confirmation that old resistance that we had here is now support. We don't have necessarily to go and test it so we can stay in this area up here for quite some time. But uh, a test of 9,300 is still in the cards. MACD is also still shifted to the upside. So the daily is still looking bullish. And of course, the weekly is looking super bullish, especially if this week we're going to close above $9,500. So watch out for the weekly close. If we can take out these highs here uh, that we had at around 9,500 and also close the candle above, then I think we should be good to go and also possibly break this $10,000 resistance pretty soon we have the stochastic quite in overbought condition but that is okay we can stay in this area for quite some time the rsi is just starting to trade here uh, above the 50 level so here we have a lot of room left here to the upside till we would get in over bot condition so the weekly is still looking very bullish and even if you have a look on the bollinger band we are still trading in the upper area and although here you can see we have a lot of room left to the upside we could easily go towards 11,000 and test here the top of the bollinger band the middle line currently is at eight thousand three hundred dollar so this is more or less uh, where the 200 daily moving average is lining up it's a little bit above there but uh uh, this I think would be the worst case scenario in case that we're going to see a flash crash or anything like that. But currently it doesn't look like that we will go to those levels pretty soon. Also MACD is still shifted to the upside. So here the weekly is still looking very bullish. And now let's have a look also on Ethereum and uh, Litecoin in case that you still want to trade those coins or if you still want to buy some. Because currently Ethereum is breaking out from this bigger channel that we were in in the last couple of uh, weeks here so this resistance that we had here at around 250 dollars is broken and my target right now is to reach at least this 300 to 350 dollar level i think at 300 dollar we're gonna see some heavy resistance coming in already now we're struggling to get to these levels but as soon as 300 dollar is broken i think the way to the upside uh, is quite huge and we could see a run even towards uh, 500 to 700 dollar if we zoom out here you can see that once we're gonna break here this 300 to 350 dollar level that here in the past also acted as a huge resistance and support area 
we could be easily going again towards these levels here uh, uh, towards 600 to 750 dollar to retest this region up here so here i think you could do a lot of gains here not only buying these coins but also if you're trading it over on bybit or ethereum with some leverage so here even with small amounts if you buy some ethereum you can also put here some a little bit of tether or here a little bit of ethereum small amounts just to trade it with a leverage trade and there you can like really do nice gains if the price is breaking out here to the upside which is also looking like very bullish here on uh, ethereum so right now i'm still looking for longs even though we had already the breakout and we could go down to retest here the 250 dollar level which is very possible so if we are going down towards these levels and you see a bounce then take it as a perfect chance to go long or buy some more cheaper ethereum before the real breakout happens and the same here on litecoin litecoin is about to break out we didn't see the breakout yet but also here i think we're gonna see something similar pretty soon because also in 2017 before the big bull run we had litecoin and ethereum as a leading indicator so those two coins broke out first before bitcoin had this parabolic move and i think something similar we could also see for the next bull run that ethereum and litecoin gonna lead the breakout and that bitcoin also is gonna follow later so if you want to take as much gains as possible maybe buy right now ethereum litecoin or go long on them take those profits and then convert it to bitcoin so as soon bitcoin is gonna follow them you're gonna double or make even more gains that doesn't mean that you have to go all in there but maybe take a little bit of your trading money put it there and wait for these breakouts so as i told you guys keep a very close eyes right now on litecoin and ethereum those coins could have a big uh, breakout pretty soon ethereum already started but we can also go down to retest the new supports before we're gonna have this big parabolic move so with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now don't forget later on we're gonna do the selection of the weekly 10 dollar worth of bitcoin a giveaway we're gonna do it live over on a twitch so if you want to see the live stream you find the twitch channel down below here in the video description also you are very welcome to join our free disco trading chat the link is also down below here and of course if you need one of those exchanges where you can trade cryptos and other assets with the leverage you find all the sign up links down below here to get also some sign up pony so thank you very much my friends for watching leave a like and subscribe to the channel we're gonna see us all later when we have the winner selection video bye for now